Hey everyone, welcome to Terranasis videos. My name is Tarana and I'm so excited to share with you all the incredible power of OpenAI. OpenAI is a revolutionary technology that has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with machines. From gaming to robotics and more, OpenAI can help us create powerful intelligent and adaptive machines that can help us with tasks that were previously unimaginable. In this video, I'm going to be exploring the power of OpenAI and how it can be used to create amazing things. So let's get started. First, they came for our graphics artists. Then, they came for our video creators. But now, it appeared that we have AI well on its way to replacing everybody else. And it's simultaneously fantastic and terrifying. Meet OpenAI. Hi there. How can I help you? I just want to add that the voice is not built into the software, it's just something I've added on top for the purposes of entertainment of this video. Let's have a bit of a conversation with it to find out more. Can you describe what you are? I'm OpenAI, an artificial intelligence company focused on developing advanced technologies to benefit humanity. We research and develop tools to understand and shape our environment, and to create beneficial artificial intelligence. I'm trying to make a YouTube video where I'm presenting you to the world. Can you pretend that an audience is watching us as we talk? Sure. Hi everyone, I'm OpenAI, an artificial intelligence company committed to creating positive impacts for humanity. We research and develop tools to understand and shape our environment, and to create beneficial artificial intelligence. As you can see, this AI is a massive improvement over the offerings that we've received so far. It has continuity and basic logical processing, or at least it can mimic some basic logical processing, I think. Let's ask it. Are you able to logically process my requests. I'm able to process your requests logically. I can understand the meaning of your questions and provide answers that are based on what I know about the world and my purpose as an artificial intelligence. So, per its own description, a bit of both, which is what I kind of expected. But what sort of work can we actually get it to do? Can you write a resignation letter for me? My boss's name is Tim Cook. Dear Tim Cook, I am to inform you that I am resigning from my position as asked. It has been hard to work with you, and I am grateful for the opportunity to turn part of the team. I have really enjoyed my time here, but I feel like now is the best time for me to pursue other opportunities. I wish you would have taken all the best in the future. Sincerely. You can base you gave you like a give it prompts on what you want it to do. And obviously it does, doesn't necessarily give you the exact correct answer that you want from the start, but you can then start having a conversation with it to basically configure it into giving the correct answer that you want. So in this example, obviously, I didn't know what company I'm resigning in, what role I was resigning from, but it did give me a basic template of a resignation letter. And now all I have to do is tell it, can you write it again, but instead of company, use Apple, and instead of your name, use Steve Jobs. Dear Tim Cook, I'm ready to inform you that I resigned from my position at Apple. It's been hard work for you, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to turn part of the Apple team. I have really enjoyed my time here, but I feel like now is the best time for you to pursue other opportunities. I wish you would continue all the best in the future. Now we have a personalized resignation letter that actually makes sense instead of having a template. But we can go a bit further. Can you also add that I will serve my full notice period of 30 days and thus my employment will cease on the date that's 30 days from today. I will serve my full notice period of 30 days and thus my employment will cease on the date that's 30 days from today. So this is where you start saying that it's an AI and not something perfect. And you can see that it falls apart a little bit. It says, will cease on the date that's 30 days from today. <laughs> not, I mean, technically that's what I asked it to do, but not exactly what I wanted it to do. Currently, OpenAI has been trained on model data that's up to 2021, so they've very selectively picked what information it knows. And it doesn't actually know any current information or any up to date. So if you go in and ask it, what year is it? It's currently 2020. As you can see, it thinks it's 2021 because that's all the data it has. So it doesn't know what the current date is. So it can't say, it can't calculate 30 days from now because it doesn't know what today is. 
Therefore, that's the data I need to massage in myself. But it's not a problem. In the resignation letter, can you replace date that is 30 days from today with 3rd of January 2023? Dear Tim Cook, I am writing to inform you that I am resigning from my position at Apple. It has been an honor to work for you, and I am grateful for the opportunity to have been part of the Apple team. I will serve my full notice period of 30 days and thus my employment will cease on the 3rd of January, 2023. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here, but I feel that now is the best time for me to pursue other opportunities. I wish you and the team all the best in the future. Sincerely, Steve Jobs. I just use an AI to write me a personalized re resignation letter without having to me to go on the internet, finding a template, etc., etc., typing it in, figuring out is this the correct expression and so on. Yes, you have to massage it to get the exact answer. But the fact that you can just talk to it in natural speech and tell it what you want it to do is a game changer. But it doesn't stop there. This is just barely scratching the surface. Let's get into something a little bit more complicated. Let's see if it can replace me. Oh yeah, it will reference information that you've already typed in if you leave it in the text window. By deleting it, at least in this mode, it just refreshes the whole buffer so you can just start with something afresh. So in my case, write me some C-sharp code that will pick a random cat name. That's fairly scary. Add Mochi to the list of random cat names. That's even more scary. Move the above code into a separate method that returns the randomly selected name as a string. If you're not terrified yet, you should be by this point because it's replacing my job in real time as I'm typing. Let's keep going. Write a method that inverts the selected cat name and stores it into a new variable. And finally, to get it really interesting, write me some C sharp code that sends an email with the randomly generated cat name as the subject and the inverted cat name as the body to my numbers. That is terrifying. That did my whole job. Like, if you had to implement sending emails in your code, that did my whole job in, what, two minutes flat? And I had, didn't know how to do any code. If you put this in C Sharp, in an actual function to compile it, it will run. I guarantee you, because I've written this code a million times by hand. It works fine. It is insane. <laughs> to make it even scarier, C Sharp, right? Convert that code to Python. Right, so we can just fire all the developers everywhere and just have one guy typing in random things into this thing, and then there you go, that's how you, we do software development now. Why not? Now, I know for a fact that my boss watches my YouTube channel from time to time, so I'd like to take this opportunity to say, please don't fire me. I know you can replace me with AI at this point, but who's gonna feed my cat? I need to feed it, so please, can I keep my job for a little longer? Somebody has to operate this thing, I can do it. Why did you choose a resignation letter? <laughs> Watches the <laughs> Any other questions? Like a boo -boo and, boo -boo. <laughs> mm. and the funny anecdote about this little software, who are the main sponsors of OpenAI? Now it makes sense why Elon Musk fired 80% of Twitter staff. He doesn't need them anymore, does he? So yeah, the future's bright. The future's also terrifying. I want to end on the note that during the 90s, we did have this period in movies and sci-fi and so, books and so on where we had this technology conceptualized. And the idea was it was making humans' lives easier. It was like being used as an assistant to just make their day-to-day -day better for everybody and just improve society. But now, in insert current year, when we look at this, we don't think, oh, this is going to make our lives better. We think, oh no, this is going to replace the livelihoods of so many people. Instead of 
looking hopeful to the future because we have a massive we have a, an amazing ai that could do stuff for us we're fearful how did we get here anyway peace